Hi, my name is Kayla Bowman, and what I would like you guys all to do right now is close your eyes and think of a child in your life. Maybe someone you're close with, maybe someone you're not so close with. Think of the most important child in your life. Now, I want you all to imagine them in a hospital bed by themselves without the support of their family or anyone else. Okay, you can open your eyes now. How many of you would do anything you could to help that child? Raise your hand. All right, so without the help of the community, families in need of special medical attention for their child or children would be without a place to stay, food, support, and proper health care. So today we're gonna to tell you a little bit about the need for sick children in our community specifically and what you guys can do to help. So this is Eli, he's my close friend's cousin. He was born with a rare genetic disease called Fanconi anemia. So pretty much anything you can think of that could go wrong with somebody, Eli has. Um, him and his family live in Lewiston, Idaho. One of the issues that he has is abnormal outside ears. I don't know if you can really tell in this picture, but he has no ear canals. So he can't hear very well and his family really wanted to get him ear construction reconstruction surgery. The only specialist there is that has experience with ear reconstruction surgery is here in Boise. So he had to come here. He stayed in the Ronald McDonald House for 31 days. Here's a picture of him after one of his surgeries. Here's a picture of him at the Ronald McDonald House, and here's even some BSU football players and cheerleaders visiting him yeah. in the hospital. Unfortunately, this story does not have a happy ending because Eli's surgery rejected, but fortunately, he had a ton of support from the community, which made his stay there so much better. Now that I've gotten your attention, I'm gonna talk about need. So in Idaho, according to the Idaho Statesman, Eight in every 100 ch children are born premature. 900 children are diagnosed with pediatric cancer every 10 years, and many children are born with respiratory diseases. According to their website, St. Luke's Children's Hospital is the only children's hospital in Idaho. So what that means is if you live anywhere else in Idaho, like Eli and his family did, you have to come here to get the help that you need. And what that means as far as expense-wise is hotels, which are not cheap, transportation, food for you and your family every day, on top of all the medical expenses that you already have. So now that I've gotten your attention and talked about need, Anna's gonna talk about satisfaction. So I'm Anna, and since 1988, the Ronald McDonald House has been providing housing, food, and transportation for families who have to travel long distances to get care for their sick children. And this is a picture of the Ronald McDonald House here in Boise and a couple of volunteers. Um, they provide a safe, supportive place for 632 families each year and $733,000 worth of lodging and support, as well as meals. And they not only help the families that have to travel long distances, they also get involved with the community, the local community. So they put together food boxes of like homemade meals just to make it easier for families so they can have more time to spend at work or with their children at the hospital. Next, uh, the Ronald McDonald House has a partnership with Regents Blue Shield, which is a health insurance company. And according to Regents' website, through this partnership, the Ronald McDonald House receives funding and volunteer support from Regents employees. So without this partnership and uh, community volunteers and donations, a lot of the Ronald McDonald House uh, services wouldn't be possible. And personally, I didn't realize the need for the Ronald McDonald House until we all went. We, what we did was baked for the families two different times for two hours. And uh, we got to interact with them, see them in the house, learn a little bit more about their story. And it was just really nice to go and be able to do something little that could make their day a little bit better. And now that I've talked about satisfaction, I'm gonna talk about visualization. So let's all imagine life without the Ronald McDonald House. That would put, put 632 families out of a place to stay, which would put more and more children in the hospital alone when they should be with their families in this hard time. And on top of all of the medical bills 
the families are spending, you can add an additional $1,200 on average per family to compensate for the food and lodging that would be needed. So fortunately, this isn't the case and the Ronald McDonald House has a huge impact on our community and with um, our help, they can continue to provide the care that's needed for all of the families. So now that I've talked about visualization, so I'm just going to talk about action after this video. The house do need a lot of help to support their patient and their family over there. By just easy to get involved by volunteering. As our volunteering, we go over there, big brownie, and they give us the tour to walk around the house, see how people work, understand how it's going, and meeting people. So you can go over there and volunteer. Uh, this really permit you will be have a good time with your friend and your family. Uh, we can also help them by donating box like. You Drop your chain in the donate donation box at McDonald restaurant, and it's really maybe nothing to you, but mean a lot for them. So you can tell your friend or your family, and can do the same thing. They also collect the pop tops, collect the pop tops, and this will be help um, them a lot. According to their website, the the Ronald McDonald House Charity of Idaho website, 2014 more than 53,000. A uh, dollar was raised by donation box and thirty thousand dollars was raised by the pop top. Uh, we you can walk into the website and see the wish list. So the list he Kayla will send to you, and in that we will see like what they need in month and pick one or two drop by the house. Or if you don't have time, just go online Amazon wish list and buy shopping online. You actually do the same thing. Um, we can also support by community partnership. Like every time you shop at Fred Mayer with reward card, or you go to the Amazon um, smile.amazon.com instead of Amazon.com. This is actually the same thing, but the different if you can support the house. Or you can you Google shirt for everyday activities, like click on Ronald McDonald House charities of charity of choice and the rest will be uh, automatic, it's really easy. Um, for more information, like a lot of ways to do, like donate for the house or support the house, so go into the Ronald McDonald House Charity of Idaho to see information and you can sign up for the, for the regular email by just provide your name, your email, your birthday, and you can get the email, no information about that. So we have shared to you like without the community, family in need of special fa medical attention for their children could be good at housing, food support, and proper health care. So think about Eli and how their family go over that and imagine without the house. So we, you can get involved by volunteer, donate, participating. And thank you. <laughs>